Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you all to the first of a series of discussions on a very important project. Our company is Enatech Research Labs and we've been working on this endeavor for quite some time. What we'd like to do now is open it up to the community, gather your feedback to help us progress this project along. As we kick off this project, we're hoping to engage a philosophy that we've just introduced to our organization. We call it open source research. It's really just a method of bringing in and sharing our work with, and progress with the public and bringing in their ideas to see what additional contributions can be made by people like you. Unlike an ordinary digital camera which processes images based on visible light, our camera processes particles that move faster than light. And by being able to process particles that move faster than light, we're looking at an imagery process here that is showing us what, well, what we strongly suspect, in fact, could be called the future. Yeah, to my best estimate, we're talking about pictures that occur uh, 1,191 days, by our best estimate, in the future from when the picture was taken. And obviously, if true, this device has a potential that's downright staggering. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, great. So what we're looking at here is an image that was taken with an ordinary digital camera. Uh, this is a street in the city of San Francisco. And what we see here is um, a building that is for sale. We see a B and K cleaners. We see, uh, you know, a, some some signage here. No parking. If we move on to the next image. All right. Now, bearing in mind that this is the image taken with a digital camera. The image that we're going to see next is what was taken with the Gardner device, um, from the exact same time, place, and perspective as this original mm -hmm. digital right. photo. Okay. So, uh, 57 Yes, eight. please. All right. All go. right, now this is interesting. So we see some subtle differences here. We see that the, the, the for sale sign is gone. Uh, we see that the no parking sign is gone. Right. Um, there have been some minor changes in the signage. Um, I believe the B&K Cleaners is a different venue now. Um, and the cars are different. Let's move on to the next image. Uh, let's uh, 113? 113, yes. yeah. Right, yeah. great. So what we're looking at here is um, another street in the city of San Francisco. Um, urban decay going on here, the uh, windows are broken, the signage is missing. Now let's move on to the image taken with our device. 113B. Please. It is. Okay. The building, the architecture, the windows, everything is completely different. Um, well, let's uh, show like them uh, 284, Mike. Uh, 284? Yeah. You got it. So now what we're looking at here is a vacant lot, again, in the city of San Francisco. Completely empty, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Now this is probably the most startling and compelling piece of evidence that we have up to date. We are looking at a vacant lot. Now we see in its place a massive building, a structure that was not there before. Now how we explain this phenomenon, that is still inconclusive. But what I do want to call attention to is this structure, this building that for all intents and purposes was not there before. So what we'd like to do now is ask people out there in the community to submit your suggestions and your ideas for images that we can take with our device that will give us conclusive evidence. The observer effect seems almost impossible to overcome in this effort. I think we have to ask ourselves, by observing an image that we believe to be the future, do we attempt to fulfill it or avoid it? Right. Now we're going to be monitoring all the normal discussion channels, uh, dig, FARC, um, slash dot, something awful. So if you're posting on there about what we're talking about, we're going to be seeing it. So, uh, you know, if you do post on Dig, though, say that uh, Ron Paul's responsible for all of it. The, no, no, the no, no. iPhone dev team is going to be We'll be back in several days with an update on what we found. And in the meantime, again, feel free to leave us comments and share ideas for what we can take an image of with the Gardner Project device. Thank you.